Hello and welcome to my first entrepreneur's video. Today I want to talk with you about something that I call the grey air, which is a rule of thumb that I've learned and that helped me a lot over the past years. The grey area just means basically that whatever you do, try to not make it uh, boring or normal, what would be white or safe, and also try not to make it you know, inappropriate, try not to overstep in ways like you know, be being rude or doing something that you, the other side of the conversation can't imagine working. Um, because in the middle there is this golden line that is interesting and also fun for you to work at, uh, as well as much more successful, because the other person will, will know it, it will not be too far out of reach, uh, but will still be not normal, so it will be interesting, it will create an emotional reaction that can apply to communication or even product design. It has helped me a lot over the past years, and I would just like to uh, help you uh, explore this area. Um, the way I did it that worked the best for me was to first uh, acknowledge that I'm most of the time in the white area, that I'm trying to play it safe, that I'm trying to go with what is easy also. Uh, so the first step is to overcome the fear of stepping into the black area because you will always be able to be get back out of it. Because you will learn that this golden line that is in the middle that you want to hit actually expands to a quite far grey area if you know how to use it. So the first step is to make whatever you do more interesting. Change your project, product maybe and make it more daring. But also think about the method of communication, your tone, um, do you use any humor at all actually? Uh, or also which kind of tools and methods do you use? Do you make it interesting through the way you present something at all? Do you um, play with it and add gimmicks? Because this can be a very nice and personal touch in a sense that makes things interesting and gives them a twist. On the other side, if you notice that you've overstepped, that you've went too far, the best thing to do, in my experience, is to state your purpose, to state why you overstepped or why you specifically choose the way you acted or presented it in that moment. Uh, by giving people the opportunity to follow your train of thought, they can understand you and thus you know, forgive you for your mistake, uh, but also follow you better and thus continue the conversation with you about the topic that is at hand. Um, there's in the end, I've learned there's nothing that you can't make up for. Over time, you will learn how to navigate within both areas. The biggest challenge is, though, not to settle for good, but to say, I want to get into this gray area, I want to hit the golden line that then becomes wider, uh, because I want to make things interesting for myself and for everybody I'm working with. And by that, in my experience, you deliver great products in a very great way. Thank you for watching. This is my first learning that I want to share with you today. More will come. Bye-bye.